All right, guys, no microphone, so this might be a little noisy. Uh, catastrophic failure. I'm going fishing tomorrow all day. Leave it at 4 o'clock in the morning, so something bad had to happen. This looks a lot better than it did a few moments ago. But you can see the IDC level way, way down. This one coming up. I'll have to get the aquarium siphons going again once there's enough level over there to worry about. Um, so what happened? Of course it's rained the last couple days after months with no rain to make things even muddier. Nasty and muddy. But there's what happened right there. Uh, I didn't have time to start videoing this before I, I took corrective action. I don't know how long this was down. I, it's about uh, 6 o'clock at night. I was out here 10.30 in the morning last. So somewhere in between there. So the system's been down for anywhere from uh, 8 hours to a couple hours. I, I don't really know. I do know what happened, though. Uh, we had that all wired up with plumbing strap, and it held since we put it in pretty good. You can see I got it shimmed temporarily for now. Uh, note to self, to put in the backup cabinet, 2-inch 90-degree uh, fittings. I don't have any, so I had to piece that one together. What really needs to happen now is this needs to be cut out, and uh, we need to splice a new piece in. And uh, I'll get to that this week, but this should uh, get us into repair mode. Everything's running again. It's not leaking. And I just smutched the hell out of it. I gave it a little treatment with some sandpaper and pounded it together. But I'm not, I'm not confident in that long term. So what happened? I know what happened. Charlie, Lucy, and Max happened. This has become a dog highway and I need to do something to basically cut this off for them just to keep them out of here. It'll be inconvenient for me because when I want to go back here, I'm going to have to uh, go the long way or the long way that way. But uh, it's the only way I'm going to feel confident long term this isn't going to happen again. Uh, the good news. It's a catastrophic, fa catastrophic failure that wasn't a, a cat catastrophe because I caught it when I did. No floating bullheads. You can see one big one down there. Look at that guy. Uh, so the bullhead tank has managed to go on. I had to lose a bullhead out of here, but it wasn't because of this. It was because uh, of gut hooking, and we ate him, so that's no major loss. Tilapia and goldfish. There's some surface activity going on when I walked in here, but uh, everybody's good. Plants are fine. I mean, these wicking beds, you know, they could go a couple days before they would be in real stress. You know, the concern was down here. Well, you know, the bluegills, they got their own recirculating pump for their own water, and the level's not going to drop in here any lower than the system level that we have set. So the last people to worry about would be, or the fish I should say, people, the other tilapias. They just want to be fed. System's running again. We got good pressure. All I got to do now is get everything back in action and uh, hope it holds because I'm, I'm out of here tomorrow. And uh, what I'll do is on the way home from fishing, we should be coming home around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're leaving at like 4 in the morning. Um, system running there. I'll pick up some 2-inch uh, 90s and some extra ones so we have them on the shelf for res reserves here. Um, we have everything, but we were out of 2-inch 90s. It's not something you notice because, you know, the only 2-inch pipes we have are return lines here and return lines on the pond system. So... It's just something that's easy to easy to run out of and uh, not realize it. I've got two inch T. That doesn't do me a lot of good right now, does it? Now, beauty of rain or having well water is it's no it's no huge deal. We just throw the hose in, start feeding it back in, and uh, we'll get everything back up to speed here soon. And. Uh, We'll catch up with you hopefully on half of your terms. Happy note, I guess, though, would be you gotta have something good in every video. So here's cucumber cam. Cucumbers are just going mental here in the greenhouse out of the Evan Flow bed. We'll catch up with you later.